what day is it? I think it's August 11th, 2019, and uh, yesterday was a very, very productive day. So yeah, so uh, two days ago now, I went out to Washington DC and got this thing called test footage, uh, and I didn't really get enough for nighttime, so I went out to Manassas last night and got some more. Uh, and that didn't really go according to plan. So yesterday, I went out to uh, Washington DC and got a bunch of different videos called test footage. But basically, I test video cameras and I need more shots from nighttime. So I'm just gonna quickly head out to uh, Manassas, Virginia today and we're just gonna get like a couple of videos of the streets you know, cars, uh, just some really basic stuff. Oh, also, check engine light, still on. Oh, the white balance is being weird again. Well, here we are, uh, in, uh, in Manassas. All right, you guys want a McDouble? It's probably still good. Look, there's a quarter pounder box over here. I wonder if there's something actually in it. No, it's empty. That's my favorite thing about this parking garage is all the trash. It's good to feel surrounded by what I am. All right, so, wow, these really uh, got knocked around back here. We got the same cameras we had yesterday pretty much. I got my work cut out for me. And take a look at this. One of the pigeons from yesterday took a crap on my window. I wouldn't expect any different. It looks like somebody spilled some spaghetti. It's always a sad day when you spill your spaghetti. Only if it falls out of your pockets though. I always get nervous doing that whole filming in public thing. Especially with the train coming. But I think I have time. This land used to have a massive display of a ton of different flags on it, and now it's gone. That's really sad. I wonder why they, I wonder why they disappeared. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I like it here anymore. I don't know why. I just get, this place makes me uncomfortable. Wonder if that's some kind of primal instinct. I guess I'll go to Alexandria instead. Despite feeling somewhat uncomfortable here, I gotta, I gotta open this door. I gotta say, this place still has a, a special spot in my heart because this is sort of where the idea of doing test footage was born. Buy double hamburger. By Manassas. Whose idea was it to put those big dopey reflectors on the traffic lights? It makes it so much harder to see them. I don't like it. Because it makes the sun go in my eyes. Look, look at this ridiculous car in front of me. Look at how big the wheels are on that thing. I love it here so much. It's like the perfect amount of ghetto. Let's find a nice little parking space here. Look at that, there's a nice one right there. How about this one? Something I guess I can talk about at risk of my own direct messages. Did you guys hear that uh, that Jeffrey Epstein guy got, well, he committed suicide. I don't believe that for a second. Let me tell you, that is such a load of crap. Let's just go over like all the details here for a moment, right? We have a guy who said he has information on a ton of rich people and then he turns up dead. Like days after, both days after saying that he had that information and then days before he actually testified. 
I mean, come on. It doesn't get more obvious than that. So, call me a crazy conspiracy theorist if you want to. I'm sure after the balloon thing, I uh, you have every right to, but it just seems so fishy. The roads were relatively quiet today. There wasn't really much of any traffic at all, which is both a surprise coming from me and a surprise coming from the DC area. So, I gotta say, props to you. Um, happenstance for not having trap I don't know guys I'm trying I'm trying really hard here to make an interesting video and it's just not happening I come out here so much like I come out here a lot and a lot of times those videos didn't make it to YouTube that was one of the reasons I started doing a daily vlog was because I needed to like force myself to upload the videos that I didn't think were good and you know maybe that way Maybe that way it would make me a little bit more comfortable with with videos that aren't really on par with what I'm what I normally upload. I don't know. It's definitely working. I'm uploading everything. I'm getting I'm uploading all the footage I've got, so I also want to take a moment and just kind of just kind of piggyback off of a few things I said in my video where I talked about you know, how I deal with mean comments. It's it's just a similar topic where there's a, there's a right way and a wrong way to deal with someone that is wrong about something and that you know for a fact that they're wrong about something. And the absolute wrong way to do that, to deal with that, is to be condescending and rude and to laugh in their face about it. I can't even begin to tell you how many comments on the internet I've seen that are just like, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what the topic is, but it's just people that are being so rude. You know, how, how better of a way to describe it is that? It's just, it's so shallow. Because the people that do that, either they don't realize how they're coming off and they don't realize the effect that they're having, or they're not looking to change anyone's mind. They just want to make people feel stupid. Because that's certainly not how you change someone's mind. This, this walk, man, this takes forever. I need one of those electric skateboards called like a boosted board or something like that. I don't know why I acted like I didn't know what it was called. I know for a fact that it's a boosted board. I see those from time to time around here. And every time I see them, I'm always amazed by it. Because it's cool and very expensive. It's always like some 14, 15 year old kid, so I can only imagine their parents paid for it. Also, really quick, I changed a bunch of settings on this camera, so hopefully the microphone sounds a little bit better. Uh, especially in the wind. Apparently I didn't turn the wind filter on, which I was, which I should have done. Uh, so just a quick heads up. If everything sounds different, that's why. I hate yelling like that. It's so rude, but you probably can't hear me over the sound of the cars. You know, I gotta be honest. I think these are my favorite vlogs. The ones where I just kind of hang out with the camera and talk to you guys. No need for big fancy time lapses. It's just me and the camera, and the other camera, and the other camera, and the other camera, and the other camera. Alright guys, I gotta run this by you really quick. You ever get a weird thing where you walk under a street light and it turns off, and it's really weird. Let's see if it happens again. There's a street light, let's see if it happens. No, it's not happening with this one. Of course, as soon as I try to show it to the camera. It happened twice in a row. I mean, I would guess with the frequency at which one would walk under streetlights. Maybe it's just one of those things that you don't notice until it happens. Because, I mean, I walk under, what, like 50 streetlights each time I come out here? And it happens twice. Maybe that's just how likely that is to happen. All right, well, that's a wrap on uh, tonight. A little bit nervous walking back to the car here because this... This side street, first of all, doesn't have a sidewalk. Second of all, it's extremely not lit down here. And I don't mean that it's not cool. Yeah, look at that. You can't even see that. I got test footage with, um, I think four cameras, which should cover me for about two months. So that's great that I don't have to worry about that.
So I'm happy. Uh, you know, it's not like I don't enjoy going out uh, to places like Alexandria and Manassas and stuff like that, but it's definitely become more work, like something I feel like I have to do. Uh, so to get multiple videos done at once, uh, it definitely does feel, it feels, that feels nice. So, um, I should, uh, talk about one thing in particular, and that's that this is day number 11? Yeah, I guess it's 11 now. Or 10. Day number 10. I've been doing daily vlogs now for like 10 or 11 days. Uh, we're nearing the point that I gave up the first time, the first, well, not the first time around, uh, for this channel the first time around. I'm wondering if it's like a bell curve of uh, inspiration, right? Like you start at the beginning and it's just like you got this enormous load of work ahead of you and then you sort of get about halfway through and you're like, you're, you're starting to feel really optimistic. But then when you get towards like the, the middle and the end of that, it starts to get intimidating because you run out of ideas. But maybe I'll just start like doing a little bit more stuff like going to state sales, yard sales, um, things like that. And uh, we'll see if that doesn't provide some kind of content. <sighs> what was I going to say? I talked a few weeks ago. Was it a few weeks ago? It was a little while ago about the uh, the hornet situation here and it's here here's just like a quick description of what's going on so we have this tree here we've always had like hornets that kind of hang around you know uh, they fly around this tree I don't know where their nest is but it must be like not far away and also extremely terrifying and they've started to actually eat away at this tree and you can see uh, it's actually starting to die now. So my dad, in response to that, got this like insane insect killer. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. Here's the bottle. This isn't an endorsement, by the way. I, I, I mean, it works because I mean they're they're gone. I haven't seen them all day. All right, and I don't. I'm not an expert. I don't know if it's like this for um, all of these types of products, but this is like some unironic poison stuff. I have never ever seen a product that says, if you get it on your skin, it doesn't really say by what means. It also says if inhaled, even though this has a mist option, the sprayer has a mist option, um, it says to contact poison control or to go to a hospital or something. So that's pretty crazy. He sprayed the tree with it yesterday and I can still smell it. It's, it's really strong and kind of gross. I don't know, man. I don't like these. I don't like these insect killers very much. You know, this like this kind of thing, this kind of thing cannot be good for the environment. Uh, it says like safe for plants, or safe for other stuff. What if some other animal comes up and like tries to eat at the tree or something or, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little paranoid, but this, I'm always a little bit suspicious of these kind of like outdoor cleaning products. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think about the outdoor cleaning products? My camera does not have enough memory for me to actually make a full length vlog today. So I'm going to head off. No, that's it. I'm going to head off. So I will see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Um, just kind of funny, right? I post these videos to Reddit. Uh, there's a couple of vlogging subreddits that I post these to. And one of them got a downvote. Unbelievable. That's actually it. That's actually all I wanted to say. Um, I'm not like, I'm not buttered about it. I, that stuff doesn't make me mad. I need to head off. I don't, I don't usually do really wide angles like this. It's kind of weird. Alright. My camera's actually running out of memory, so. Bye. Bam.